guys, it is Friday, which means it's now time to start a new weight loss week vlog. And so, excuse my hair, I just had a seven hour arts and crafts class, which was absolutely crazy. My fingers are so sore. We did like six or seven crafts and I'm just like exhausted and I'm very, very hungry because I had breakfast at eight in the morning. Then I left for work to bring my COVID test and then I left for my classmates house straight away and we spent those seven hours there doing those crafts and now I came home and I had a little bit of chocolate there I'm not gonna lie and I also she made uh, she made latte so I had that and so now I've made myself a tortilla which might look like it's a lot but it's really just uh, one piece of chicken a little bit of onion a little bit of cheese and one tomato and the tortilla so that's not too much because i'm probably not gonna have dinner today it's already like almost five so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this vlog and let's get into it good morning my beautiful friends i hope that you are well today is saturday and i'm going to work today it's actually really really weird for me to work on saturday but you gotta pay for everything in life and today we are paying with our Saturday because we had Monday off which was technically a work day but because it was between uh, weekend and 4th of May which was Independence Day we had a day off so now we are working on Saturday to kind of work that Monday off if it makes sense but I'm actually pretty excited and I'm actually not that tired I thought I would be very very tired because I had um, I couldn't fall asleep yesterday and this morning I was supposed to go for a run. I really wanted to go for a run today. I specifically set my alarm at for 5. Usually I wake like at 5.40 when I go to work in the morning. But when I woke up I was so starving. I was just really really hungry because I didn't eat a lot yesterday. And that that was because I had classes and I just didn't really have time to eat. And I didn't want to have a very big dinner at night, so uh, instead of eating breakfast today, because I normally eat breakfast at work when I have morning shifts, so I, I had four dates, because I've heard dates are really great for fasting. Not that I was fasting, it was just... I didn't have a ton of food yesterday that's why i was hungry so i ate those dates and i actually made myself uh cottage cheese with some trail mix and frozen cherries and by the time i eat it the cherries will be unfrozen so yeah that's that's the news for today because if I keep restricting myself, if I keep telling myself that I can only eat healthy foods, it's not going to be sustainable in the long run and it's not a balanced lifestyle. And if my colleague has a birthday and she makes a cake and she brings it to me and, uh, and gives it to me, I'm going to eat it. Or if I really want something, I'm going to eat it. But also, I am going to try and learn to listen to my body and to really what my body wants and not just five minute craving or stress relief or something like that. A quick little update. I was reading and I actually realized that I haven't worked out in four days. So I worked out on Tuesday and then I didn't work out on Wednesday and Thursday because I wanted to make day off. And then yesterday I didn't have time and today I just kind of like don't feel like it. And it's going to be five days, five day break, but I really needed that and I just think I needed it more mentally so tomorrow is Sunday it's Mother's Day so I'm probably not gonna work out I'm just gonna spend a lot of time with my mom and I generally don't like working out on Sundays so yeah that's gonna be five days without working out but that's okay and I actually I need to go run to the store because as I said tomorrow's is Mother's Day so I really need to go to that flower shop and see if I can find some flowers uh, if I can I'm just gonna buy her some healthy delicious stuff that she loves and spend the rest of the day reading because that's what I do when I'm tired and I don't want to do anything else I 
got home from work, I made myself coffee and some snack. It's literally just a little bit of cherries and a little bit of mangoes. And I'm going to chill a little bit. Basically, today was a pretty good day. In the morning, I woke up at 5 and I went for a run before it was even sunrise. I was on the school field when it was sunrise time so it was just very very beautiful and magical and nobody was there it was just amazing and i am actually proud of myself that i woke up at five and i had time to go for a run because my work starts at seven so i have to leave around six forty. so i am i'm i'm pretty proud of myself and after the run i felt very i was very nauseous and i i left the school and i felt like fainting and like my head was spinning and when i got home i had to lay down for about 10 minutes because it was just like spinning and i was it was bad but i was a little bit hungry so maybe that's the reason why I felt that, but normally I don't eat before runs, especially if it's at 5 in the morning, like, really. And so, yeah, I also went to work on a bike, so that's more activities. And I had, I went, uh, I went out with kids for like two hours today and I made... 11,406 steps already that's like including the run and everything my run was around three kilometers it's not that much I'm using couch to 5k but I really want to do more cardios because cardios are very very good for you especially for losing fat and that's my main goal I don't really need to lose weight because weight is like water fat and muscles and like everything but really i just need to lose fat and my plan is to go for a run tomorrow as well so we will see how that goes guys look what i got for lunch today my brother made me hot sushi set and a philadelphia set i'm definitely not gonna finish all of them i'm probably gonna eat four of these and four of these and i'm gonna save the rest for my mom because she loves sushi as well i just love sushi so much and my brother is the best i can't it's now tuesday afternoon and i have some news for you guys basically i have a broken wrist now <laughs> I got into an accident this morning when I was going to work and I fell off my bike and yeah, this is what happened and I hit my leg as well, but it's not broken, thank God. But basically now it means that my weight loss journey is going to be slower, but I don't really care about that much today because like, I mean, I got in an accident, like, thank God I'm alive, but anyway, like... I really rely on eating healthy now because now I won't be able to work out for at least four weeks. Well, I will be able to walk and I will try to walk as much as I can because walking is also great, but I'm not going to be able to run or lift weights or do any cardio or any ab workouts or anything like that. And so I will need to eat as healthy as possible. Today hasn't gone the best way with eating either because my brother made sushi for me. So ever since yesterday, I started chopping things with my left hand. I know I definitely can learn it and I can improve because I asked my brother to chop tomato for me because that was difficult. But I just really don't like depending on other people and I just want to learn to do things on my own because I hate depending on people. And I know I'll have to ask my mom to help me wash my hair and all of that because of this guy here. But basically now I'm just making myself a salad and I'm going to have like cucumber, onion, tomato, as well as some rice cakes with 
cream cheese but i'm gonna show you i know this doesn't look really good but as i said i don't want to ask other people to help me all the time so that's what i'm doing it's now thursday the end of week five and i have a little update on this guy here i actually feel quite bad my leg still hurts and i have three bruises there i have a bruise on my butt i have a bruise on my fingers and then like a bruise under my knee and then also this thing really hurts and also my head started to hurt and it was like i felt quite bad today i hope it's not concussion because i'll have to go to the hospital probably if it continues um, but yeah, thankfully my left side is okay, so I've been adjusting to work with my left hand and do everything and I'm probably gonna edit this video with my left hand. So I actually wanted to say that there will probably there won't probably be a video in a while about my weight loss journey because I mean I can't really lose weight right now. I can't really do it on the full capacity. All I can really do is just like eat healthy and maybe do some leg workouts like standing or like uh, pushing knees up or something like that when my legs heal but I'm not gonna go crazy I need my body to heal okay and that's totally okay that's totally fine so hopefully in about four or five weeks there will be improvement and I will get rid of this and I will start I, I know I'll have to go to rehab but yeah anyway I hope that you have enjoyed this series so far and that you will be waiting for the series to return because I will definitely continue it once I can I haven't lost my motivation to lose weight um, and I'm strong and I will be eating as healthy as possible so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you very soon bye